This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, have you ever felt disappointed by a delayed or some unfilled hope? Maybe you were looking for a promotion, a relationship, a healing or a breakthrough, but it didn't happen when you expected it to. Maybe you're still waiting for it to happen and you wonder if God has forgotten you or if he even cares. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. This means that we have to wait for something we long for, and it can cause us to feel discouraged, depressed, hopeless. It can make us question our faith and doubt God's goodness and his faithfulness. It can make us lose our joy and peace and rob us of our purpose and passion. But the same verse also says that a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. This means that when we finally receive what we have been hoping for, it brings us boundless joy and satisfaction. It refreshes our soul and renews our strength. It restores our trust and gratitude in God and his promises. It gives us a taste of his love, grace, and glory. So how do we cope with the tension of hope deferred? And how do we deal with the issue of desire fulfilled? How do we keep our hearts from getting sick while we wait for God to answer our prayers and fulfill our dreams? There's a couple of things to think about. Remember that God's timing is perfect. God is holy. He knows every detail that needs to happen and things will happen in his timing, not ours. Rejoice in the master always, even when we do not see fulfillment of our hopes, we can still praise God for who he is and what he has done for us. We can renew our mind with God's word. The word does alive and it's powerful and it can heal our hearts and transform our minds. We can rely on the spirit of God to help. The Holy Spirit is our helper and comforter and counselor and teacher and guide and friend. He dwells in us and empowers us to live the godly life. He intercedes for us and he does it according to God's will. He produces us in the first fruit of the hope of joy and peace, patience and kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and much more. So we need to reach out to others in love. We are not meant to go through life alone. We need each other to encourage, support, and pray for us. We need to serve one another. So hope deferred does not mean that hope will always be deferred. We may cry out to God in the middle of the night, but Jesus, we know this, your love for us is enduring, and my heart is whole because of you, and you are love, and you are the new agreement with me that is based on your love. That's some good news, brothers and sisters.